In Division 2, Napoleon looking to keep their season alive, taking on Bellevue. Wildcats off of a hot start. Kaylee Ressler spins in the lane. Nice touch for the hoop. Napoleon with an 11-point lead. A couple possessions later, Taylor Strock with the pass in the corner to Sophie Chips. Eyes flies it. Three is good. Wildcats up 13 going into halftime. But Bellevue would battle their way back into this one. Marley Ruffing in the corner connects on the triple. It's a single-digit game in the fourth. Bellevue sticking around. Corey Santoro drives. Floater in the lane. She finishes with 14 points, but Napoleon, they finish strong. Strock and Wrestler each with 17 points. They win 48-32. That Wildcat defense, a big factor in the regional semifinal victory. We know defense is our calling card, and we've had some big games this regular season that we felt had prepared us for that. We've played against some good competition, so um, we felt that Santoro was one of those best players that we were going to see all season, and just executing our game plan of getting up in her face and just disrupting her whenever we could and not following her and not, not sending her to her at the line so much was our game plan tonight, and it was a whole team effort, and I think we executed pretty well. Let's turn now to Tim Clagg, who has more from Mansfield. Through three games in the tournament this season, Napoleon has really struggled in the first half of games and really pulled away in the second half, outscoring their opposition 87 to 42. Well, it was a different story here tonight. It was a low scoring contest through the first eight minutes, five to two. But then the senior duo of Taylor Strock and Kaylee Ressler settled in and took over during a key run where they outscored Bellevue 17 to seven. And those two seniors, they had one of the most difficult tasks defensively, going up against one of the best players in the state of Ohio, Corey Santoro, who averages 28 points per game. And Wrestler and Strock, they were up for the challenge. They were able to hold her to a season low two points in the first half, holding her well below her average, where she secured 14 points in the losing effort. The mantra this season for Napoleon has been unfinished business. And, well, they've lived up to it all season long. After last season, they took the court for the state semifinal contest down in Columbus, only to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They use their height to their advantage tonight, out-rebounding Bellevue 33-21, to and it led to second-chance opportunities as the seniors Strock and Wrestler combined to score 34 of their team's 48 points to secure their second straight berth in the Division II Regional Championship game on Friday, knocking off Bellevue by a final score of 48 to 32.